Okay, uh, I will talk, uh, as Munir say, about uh, development of efficient QMMM scheme using uh, graphical video cards uh, and uh, also a, a new development of uh, uh, time dependent DFT in QMMM schemes that allow us to, to make some uh, interesting things like uh, electrodynamics. Okay, I think this I can go fast here because I think everybody do, almost everybody do QMMM in these meetings and uh, later Darío and others will talk about this a lot. So you know about QMMM, the, the, the system in, in which one part is QM and rest is MM. I think today we are talking a lot about Okay, I work with uh, Leo. Leo is a, is a software developed in, in our group. Uh, the original version was wrote by Dario in uh, 1477 in 1992. Uh, and we work with uh, this code uh, last 20 years, maybe or more. Uh, and now, with the collaboration with uh, people with uh, 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 computational science, we convert to Fortran uh, 19 C and CUDA to use uh, uh, car, video car. And it's called Leo because it's fast and accurate. But here, if, if you want to download or use it, uh, it's in GitHub. And uh, this afternoon we are going to do uh, some work and use Leo and uh, Leo with Sander to make some things similar that uh, I present here. Okay, the quantum model on Leo is, uh, is based on density functional theory. I think uh, most of you know about this. In, in this theory, the density has a fundamental role like uh, work function in, in other uh, quantum uh, approach. And we can write the, the energy as a function of density with different terms. Uh, well you, you have a, 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 um, a criterion of, of, of good density when, when the, the, the energy associated with the real density is always lower than the energy with another density. <coughs> but uh, in this scheme, the, the this term have all the magic, and uh, in this term uh, have the, the quality of the results and the computational cost. Uh, so we work a lot in to this, this term better. Uh, has DFT has a great cost accuracy uh, relation, so it's uh, a choice to using in real system or, or for molecular dynamics in which we have to make this, this computation uh, several times. So this is, for example, for this is uh, 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 a system uh, I work. It's uh, similar to, to some that I, I see yesterday. This is um, a soluble domain of protein, copper transport coprotein that has a, a self population step and this is the, 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 the QM system on this uh, for, for a study this reaction in, in this I, I take this like a, a study case for to see the cost in, in computation uh, before optimization and use of CPU of GPU in which uh, the exchange correlation term uh, use the most uh, demanding part, but a any of this portion of the calculation are ported to GPU uh, at the present time. Before that, we take seven, 76, 76 <laughs> seconds to per, per step of molecular dynamics. This, is, this makes the system is impossible to trace with DFT. That, that's why many of you use DFTB or something 
more cheap. Uh, because if I want to uh, make a, a NFT energy profile with umbrella sampling or, or Sarsinski or whatever, it takes uh, a lot of time. So we use this to, to make the thing faster. Uh, GPU, I, I think maybe this, this slide is uh, redundant because I think it's almost as you already know about the, the power of kind of car has a, a lot of pros because have a, a massive computer power, they are programmable and have an excellent cost power rate. But have a lot of cons like uh, you have to produce a, a, a code uh, especially for, for this device thinking about the different kinds of memory and the use and very and we trial and error uh, since uh, how to use this this hardware. So to do that, to do this, uh, I, uh, we need the help of computation, uh, computational scientists who knows more about this. So okay, it, this should be stage. I think uh, this is all, all the stuff, all the this portion was with a lot of work because everything of, of this uh, slice of that pie uh, have uh, a different uh, problematics, so a different solution. But with a lot of work with the, this system, we passed from uh, 76 seconds per step to 3.3 seconds per step. So now really we can, this is all, all the, the, the time for any stage, and just, uh, we can reduce the time, the execution time per step to 3.3 seconds. Okay, uh, just, just a comment, uh, the, the program, the, the last work on this, on this uh, program, we use uh, hybrid computation, in which we use uh, both CPU, GPU and, CP and CPU at the same time, several cores and several GPU. And this, uh, if if you do that with a, 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 a smart way, you can obtain a super scalar behavior. I mean, this uh, the blue is the theoretical improvement for use more cores, but in red is what I, we obtain. This is some complex, complicated, uh, if you want to know more, more about it, this, we can uh, talk later, but uh, just, just to say that you can, you can do things interesting like that. This is why, but I, I have to talk much, much about the, the code and uh, how to work, so I will pass. Because I, I want to talk to you about something more exciting, I think, for all of you, is uh, expanding the capabilities of uh, UMMM simulation in a different way. This is uh, allowing to simulate uh, things that we are not uh, familiar with. This is using real-time time-dependent density functional theory that we can do with this is uh, electro electron dynamics. See how the electron moves, not nucleus. Uh, this is in interesting with when, when you study interaction with light, like absorption, emission, or things like that. Electron transfer, this is the most important for me at, at now, how the electron uh, go from one part of the system to another be a system or whatever. Uh, no more Oppenheimer dynamics. Yeah, there are some some cases in what we uh, use more Oppenheimer uh, the the Oppenheimer dynamics in which the 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 dynamics of the electrons and the nucleus are uh, separated. Uh, in some cases, is not true. 
photochemistry, I, I put energy with uh, light and things happen, etc. The theoretical background is like identical like DFT, but uh, other names. But uh, you have uh, the time dependent Schrodinger equation. You have uh, still Comsham theorem. You have uh, the Bruns Gross theorem, but it's equal. It, sh it shows that the, the density, but now as uh, a function of uh, position and time, of the density dep depends on time, is univocally uh, minded with a potential uh, also depending on time and the work function. So the density uh, as a function of uh, position and time uh, is has the same entity like the work function. And better, we have uh, an equation to tell us how the, the density uh, evolves in time. It does. It w just we ch just need to compute the, the commutator between the Hamiltonian and the density. Uh, it's you see this, um, I, I, I can compute this like, uh, static or non-time depending DFT. So we have all the ingredients, so we just have to put together. And then we have to integrate this equation and we, we can use uh, some uh, propagators. This is one more, more simple, like it's like a barlet, but uh, for the electrons. And there is another care a lot. But this, this is this this uh, propagator uh, allow us to, to get a, a bigger time step. The time step here is uh, two order of magnitudes lower than the uh, time step that we use for molecular dynamics. So uh, the first question about this is this is this is work. It's, it's a, a honest question. What we can do is uh, obtain the absorption spectra of a, of a molecule uh, by the, the Fourier transform of, of the uh, dipolar moment. Okay, we we perturb the system. We give a, a kick with uh, a, a delta of uh, electric field, uh, and we see how the polar moment is evolved. This we are going to do this in in the in this afternoon uh, with everybody. So here here is the comparison between uh, real time time dependent DFT and linear response. Linear response time dependent DFT maybe uh, most uh, some of you are using in, in Gaussian or in other programs use this uh, what what that, that is what they call time dependent time dependent DFT but uh, we, we call ring and response because it, it's not a, a really a, a dynamic of electron. They just has, has uh, some uh, computation with a uh, steady state. And the real time, basically, is work. But better than compare with with uh, linear response and dependent DFT is compare with experimental. And effectively, uh, the frequency of uh, obtaining of, of the transition obtained are in very good agreement with linear response and uh, experimental when, when it's available. This is in in gas phase, so this this mo uh, some some molecule we are not have that uh, in in gas phase. Uh, this is for, for remember this is a, an ab initio model, so I don't put anything about the molecules on it, anything, and we reproduce uh, very well the, the experimental value. So I think it's work. And better, there it is, uh, it's interesting working with this because it's a, a, a new area, because it's very expensive to compute like this. So it's an area which is, uh, is in construction. So this is, this is the, the first program who can do real-time time-dependent DFT in QMM scheme. So we can see, for example, 
the solvatic chromic effect in form media. We are going to do that in the afternoon, exactly, exactly this. And we can see the, if, if we compare the, the spectrum in vacuum and in aqueous solution, a shift of the absorption spectra that is in, in really good, good agreement with the experimental shift. So works independent DFT and works the QMM. And also if we use a protein because Leo works together with Amber, with Sander in particular, uh, and we can put any molecular that you can use in, in Amber. So we can use a hemo, heme group in a heme protein and we can see that the, the this work. And better of that, this is a carot carotene molecule and uh, better of all, we can do very nice movies. Like this. This is the changes on the density when we excite with a laser on the right frequency. It's very dark. It's, it's just a little dark, but you see the some the blue is when the the density is deployed or diminish and red is, in, is increases. So you you can see with that the and the here the the, the the polar moment oscillates with the frequency associated with the with this transition. And very nice. But uh, for 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 make a spectrum there are linear response works well. So we, we can use why we can use this uh, strategy when we have a, a linear response that uh, we can use. But there, there are something that the linear response can't do. It, it, that is, is why we develop this, we use these uh, techniques, is uh, to study things like uh, electron transport. Uh, electron transport, uh, really, th there, are, there are some uh, other forms to to study this phenomenon, but this is the, the more natural way. Seeing like the electron moves from a place to another, so we can we start uh, study, studying the electron transport because all the all the um, uh, the techniques are are in development. Development. We we have to to create tools to create uh, frameworks to make this because it's all new. So it's, it's interesting. Uh, a, a simple model for electron transfer, we can take a key and define a source, a bridge or, or molecule, and a drying zone. So uh, if, I, if we polarize this, we have more, el more electron or more density in this place, we can see how this electron goes to another place. So we can we can know about the conductivity of the system. We can study that uh, from static wave function. There are some development in this, but uh, have some problem like coherence and things. In, in some system, this don't work very well. I don't have time to enter in in details. Uh, another, with w this uh, works well for for many systems, but not for all. Uh, one option that are in like Taylor theory is uh, polarize with an uh, electric field and release the electric field and see how the electron moves. But we don't have a really steady steady state in which condition we sh should be measure the conductivity. But we uh, develop uh, a framework to study this from a steady state. But this is complicated because for how a steady state you have to, uh, the, the electron move from one side to another and you have to, with uh, uh, some mechanism, uh, put the electron back to this. Okay, so not the electron, uh, better some, some density. 
how we do that is putting a term in in the in the evolution of the density because depend when uh, uh, reference density this reference density is it, it, this is like an umbrella sampling for electrons okay we have a, a reference uh, density the density in, in DFT I don't know if, if anyone knows this is a, a matrix you have elements with uh, uh, mixing uh, a, any part of the molecule so these elements this uh, reference density elements uh, are fixed to, to one when the molecule was polarized with electric field if the element uh, belongs to source or drain uh, part of the molecule and uh, is equal to the density if not if is uh, belong to the to the molecule or, or Okay, so with this term, uh, the molecule, the, the density moves, but this uh, gain go uh, against this movement. Okay, uh, but, but we want a, a plot of current versus potential, so we can have the conductivity. Uh, the problem is that the current uh, depends on this parameter. Uh, problem. And the potential is not clear because we polarize with a potential, but when we, we when we when we, we remove the potential and use this term, the the effective potential that the molecule uh, is equivalent uh, is not uh, well defined. So what what can how can we um, remove this this problem? is calibrate with the potential with the millikan charge. If we plot the, the charge bias, this is the difference of the charge between source and drain uh, as, a, as a function of the potential applied. Uh, if, if we do many experiments in, in which we put an uh, electric field, this is, uh, this is all made with, uh, without uh, electron dynamics. So we have we we have the wave function when when uh, the, the the potential applied is like this value, and we see how the Millikan charge are in source and drive. So we have a calibration curve. So we can see the Millikan charge in any time of dynamics and think uh, and relate this with a uh, uh, potential. Okay. If we do that, the this is all, all the curves with different uh, parameters, okay? This is the gamma parameter. But we, if we use the calibrated, we have uh, uh, independent from, from the parameter uh, the result. So uh, we are very happy this is the, the first approach of, of this. What more? Hello? Uh, and uh, here we have this is very amazing we, we have learned something very amazing that for example that the alkane no alkene are more conduct than alkane I don't know, the practical you know alkano alkane no me sale perdón this is this is the, the this one the green conjugate Created uh, alkene. This is alkane. So we, we learned that the alkene are more conductive than alkene, uh, but uh, this is obvious. But, uh, just just to try that the thing works. Even more when we have a, a bridge uh, big, uh, bigger, the conductivity is slow. It's, uh, it's uh, slow now. It's, uh, less, less. And and this was the comparison with uh, the the. The black one are the computated with a with a different method that is static and is a validated method. I, I we have almost 
the same curve. So we are happy that this also works. This is 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 a is a work that is very very fresh. is is now uh, evaluated. It's not in press, but I think very soon. So this is all. We have excellent on time. Too fast, many. Uh, the work in progress. Uh, this is pseudo potential is almost ready. Nico is is working on this. Is, uh, is, is we are writing the paper right now. But uh, remind the the forces. We use this moment to to, to make a, a demand for for Nico. Uh, the we are working also in. Uh, in a in a different way that uh, we can do dynamics of nuclei and electron simultaneously. This is uh, Ehrenfeld dynamics. It's called like we can do things like photochemistry or, or things like that. See how the the, the energy how we we put in electron goes to the nucleus. Yeah, very very interesting. And we uh, going to start uh, already start to. To see the process electron transfer in in system more interesting, like uh, Chosalkin or things like that, in in a QMMM este scheme, uh, and release the the problem with the appropriate documentation. This is this I put this for just for make a promise. Uh, I, I have to do the, the documentation for use the, the program. Uh, I never do, but I. I Well, this is the, the people who works in this in this program. There are many theoretical chemistry uh, chemists that work. Darío, in particular, is, is the, the start of the program. Damian Charles and Uriel Morsan, you know, Francisco Ramirez are the time-dependent team uh, that I work with. Uh, William Agudelo works al also in the develop of uh, open shell. Leo, well, Nico, everybody knows Nico, uh, and Fer, Fernando Bobeta. Also, some informatics that these two are now working in for Google, making a lot of money, but no fun. No fun. No, they are in, in Switzerland, so I think no fun. But a lot of money and chocolate. Uh, uh, Esteban Mosco is a, is a, is a um, investigator of, uh, of uh, computational science that I work mostly and it helped me to, to do uh, Leo fast and accurate. You know. So uh, that's all. Thank you. No, but no, in this in this kind we evolve the density, not the orbitals. There are many many implementations who evolve uh, the orbitals, and it's very similar. We discuss about implementing this because it's very simple to, to do in the other way. Uh, but uh, we evolve the density. I really I really don't know because I never do the evolution of orbital. I think it's mostly equivalent. Uh, we all, we uh, Nico do with other guy the the evolution of the density, but the the different density uh, associated with each orbital is kind of the same. But no, it's not the evolution of the orbital, but the density. Instead, uh, evolution of the, the global density, evolution the density of each orbital. This is more expensive, but uh, but I think that if we uh, computational more expensive, but the evolution with the, the orbitals, I don't don't see the the, the difference because I, I never did that, uh, so I I really don't know what the 
the real real vendors. Yeah, no, I, I don't tell. Uh, the current, uh, because in a steady state, uh, in a steady state, uh, this, this density don't evol evolve anymore. But we have this term are not zero, are equal and compense e each other. And this term uh, we can associate with the, with the current. Okay, because this, this term is, is how the density moves from source to drain. And this term puts the, the, the electron back the, from uh, drain to source. Okay? Uh, and and this we, we can, we can uh, uh, see if, if this term is big, it seems that the current is big. Because there are many icons that are going from one place to another. But this term put, put it back. So we it's an stationary condition, exactly. But this the assume is zero, but each term is not zero. Has a value, and the value is, is uh, related with the current. You can see like an open system because you, this, this term uh, remove electron from the source and put in the drain. It continues doing that. Yes, yes, always. That is that is why this is zero. Bec uh, instead, the, this term is not zero. So it's, it's the, mo the molecule is polarized. You have a, a, a potential, a gradient of potential, uh, but the, the density don't move because this term is getting back. It's, it's, like, it's like that, yes. It's equivalent. and it helps. But uh, there is no, there is no uh, good uh, documentation. But if you email me, I, I tell you how to use it. Uh, it's here. It's a commented uh, uh, a little bit. <laughs> it, uh, half in Spanish, half in English. He, uh, here, you can download here. Uh, this afternoon, we are going to, to use a little bit so it's very easy to use if you already use uh, amber. And if you look, you, you can uh, make it work because uh, 